I want people to know this can be done. And it's a process, but it's worth it. And within this voice box is where we found his tumor. And this is where we found it. And Marty continuing to do a full laryngectomy, all these things. And they Oh, yeah. and so this is his new This, this is, is his new, new Good luck, Marty. It was nice to meet you. One of the, the biggest critiques about laryngeal transplantation uh, is that it's not a vital organ. And what they mean by a vital organ is that you can live without it. So you think about a heart transplant. You know, if you're, you can't live without your heart, so that's considered a vital organ. The The difficulty, especially in years past, is the immunosuppression that's required in order to be able to do this. And so you're you're looking at doing a transplant for somebody that's not required for them to live, and you may be putting them at extra risk from the immunosuppression side of things. I think there's a fair number of patients that would benefit from this. Uh, it's important um, in this case and in all of medicine that we do trials so that we can establish the safety. So not just can we do this procedure, but how safe is it and what patients would it be good for? Good. And again. This one again. Good. How long did you... For the first time since the surgery, I get talk to my 82-year-old mother on the phone. And she could hear me. Small sip and small sip. Swallow right away. Thank you so much. Hey, Kelly, you are welcome. Like I said, I'm just so proud of you. You can't imagine everything you've been through.